Hello guys, this is episode two of the Mastermind Shopify course. If you're new, welcome to this channel. My name is Salim. My goal is to help you guys out to start a successful e-commerce business because when I started, I had to learn from my own mistakes since I didn't have enough money to start with to buy courses. Now, before we start, I would really appreciate it if you drop a like below and subscribe to the channel. I will be posting a video every day in sequence so you guys can learn how to succeed step by step. If you have any questions, I would be more than happy to help you out. Just leave a comment down below and I will get back to you ASAP. Now, as I talked in my previous video, um, like we do not we do not want to start a brand new product that has not been proven to succeed. Instead, what we want to do is find a non too saturated product and improve on an existing store that is selling it. We want to learn from others mistakes and get influenced by their methods that are proven to work. I will show you one of the favorite methods that I personally use to find successful stores to, to get influenced by. And the way we're gonna do it is um, we're gonna use Shopify's database. Now, this is a special method. Not many people know about this thing and it is extremely useful. All, all you gotta do is go to a website called myip.ms um, and paste in Shopify's um, IP address. These numbers right here are going to be found in the description. And uh, so let's go to my IP and MS. So if you put in my IP the MS, you're going to end up on this page. What you want to paste in here are the numbers I'm going to be leaving in the description. What these numbers are, it is essentially this is Shopify's IP address. And because every store that is hosted hosted on Shopify, um, all the stores that are hosted on Shopify are going to appear under Shopify's IP address. What's nice about this website is that it, it ranks the website for us. So the most successful Shopify product uh, store is going to appear on top of others. So it ranks them for us so we can like figure out what the most successful stores are selling. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So um, basically the top Shopify stores, because Shopify is essentially a service and not like Amazon. So the top Shopify stores are not necessarily drop shipping stores. Like a lot of websites like Gymshark, Tesla, um, Kylie Cosmetics, a lot of these stores are hosted on Shopify. So these these stores are probably going to be ranking higher than drop shipping so, uh, websites. So you're probably going to find drop shipping stores ranked more like in the hundreds. And that's what where you want to look at. So once you paste in this, you, you type in who is lookup, you press on that. And then once you see the Shopify logo right here, you know you're in the right place because it's established in Ontario, Canada. Like that's where Shopify is established. So you go down there and you scroll down. And once you see known websites on IP, this is the Shopify's IP, you can see the top ranked uh, Shopify stores. Like as you can see, Shopify and then I don't know what these websites are, but I think they're like, I don't think this is a drop shipping store. It's probably like a brand in Australia or something. So you probably want to rank them and then look at these stuff. You can press on view all records and see for yourself, like spend some time here and try and look at some stores here. Now let's look at number 10, for example. Uh, I've come across this store before and I was astonished by how perfect the store is. This is a store and what these guys did essentially was that they, they ranked number 10. So that's like insane. So what these guys did was basically they, they started dropshipping like you you're going to do guys. And then once they started getting sales, they went ahead, contacted the supplier, uh, had their logo printed on their product and... Uh, like that's amazing like what let me fix that it's, my picture was gone right so what these guys did was they, they they went ahead and branded their product and started advertising in a better way and that's our goal guys remember if someone already did it you can too that's the mentality that i want you to have if you have the right mindset you'll get there persuade yourself that you're going to succeed in building the store and your subconscious will translate these thoughts into reality so if we go down and uh, check this website we can see that 
it's a very nice looking theme with testimonials and uh, and uh, social proof. That's what we want to do in the future. You can like get influenced by the theme. Nothing too flashy, nothing gimmicky. A video here that shows the product. Uh, like this is a perfect example of a successful store. Now, if you if we go to AliExpress right now, let's let's do let's see what they have first. They have like a teeth whitening kit. So as you can see, it's a teeth whitening kit, and uh, it's just like an LED. Uh, try it yourself home and these are like results so and this is a very simple app that you can download for free on your shopify store it's called luke's luke's reviews and it, it gets you all these reviews and these are like celebrities that they paid to influence on instagram this is all social proof nothing too flashy it's a very professional looking store that's that's what we want to get to right so let's try and find this product on aliexpress so let's go to AliExpress, AliExpress, com. So if we type in LED, hold up, LED teeth whitening and search it up. As you can see, a tons of products right here. Lots and lots of products that are like literally the same thing look at this it's like selling for like three dollars and like once you start a business and establish the relationship with the supplier you can negotiate this price further but like i'm just showing you that these guys went ahead and branded their product even though it's straight from china like the quality is exactly the same as this product so another website that i was astonished by was blendjet blendjet is like a brand and they're like a brand now and i'm sure that they got their thing from shopify as you can see a simple looking theme to you what we're trying to do in this video is like just like try and see what these successful stores are doing and try and copy them so these guys went ahead found a product it has a wow factor you can like blend smoothies wherever you want you can like take it with you um nice colors um it it solves a, neat, uh, a problem which is like having to go to the kitchen and like making the smoothie for yourself it's portable so this is like it satisfies the need of like having a refreshing drink when you're outside your house um it's it's a perfect product and it's not it has a high margin for profit um as you can see look at it we can go on aliexpress and type in electric blender and then you can see tons and tons of products as you can see here here you go this is one of them look at this it's exactly the same thing it's selling for five dollars on here and if you go to alibaba as, as i mentioned last time look it's the same thing like literally the same thing like this is just crazy they have like a very nice looking theme a one product store instagram influencers that's our goal like just look at the style and that's what we want to copy. Like we want to copy how they made their their website, the, the the theme. Like look how neat it is. It's just perfect. So let's go on Alibaba. And um, guys, remember when when you're searching for something like that, you don't want to like just like contact any supplier. You want to look at reviews. Like this guy has like twenty five hundred orders and he has reviews. You want to get something that has high quality. You don't want to ship anything because if your product is not high quality nobody's gonna buy it like even even if people did buy it they're gonna leave a bad review on your page and you don't want that you want to find something that is even if the price is a little higher make sure that is it is high quality because we're trying to establish a long-term business i don't want to just make money in for like two months and just stop so let's go on electric blender So as you can see, we found the same thing again here. It's essentially cheaper than AliExpress. This one is for, the, let's see, it's selling for, I don't know why, the, oh, we need to, to select a color. Selling for $14 per piece. While on Alibaba, if you order 24 to 118 pieces, you get a lower price of $6. Like That's a big difference. Now you can't order from Alibaba right away. Once you start, you're gonna start with AliExpress, but AliExpress usually have 
higher prices because their target is people who want to make money like right away and people who want to order for them for personal use so we're going to start by selling on aliexpress even though the price is higher but then once we once we uh, start getting orders like once you get traffic on your site once you start scaling your advertisements i'm going to show you all of that later in this course but like once you start getting orders once you reach like let's say 24 piece orders a day you can contact the aliexpress supplier and, and i'm exactly show you how to do that and I'm, I'm provide you with a supplier template that you can use to, to contact the supplier. I'll, I'll teach you everything. Just bear with me. I'm posting every day and I will teach you everything. I promise. So once you start doing that, you're going to like, even you can negotiate this price further. And as you've seen on my TikTok, you can go to a, to a website called 1688.com and try and find the same thing but it, this this website is like the target audience for this website are chinese retail stores and chinese people so this is not for shipping but you just want to like get a approximate uh price for the product that you are that you are selling so you can negotiate this price with the aliexpress supplier so let's go on 1688.com and search for electric blender um Sometimes you have to like search it in Chinese. So here we found it. It's selling for 17 yuan. So if we go on uh, yuan to USD, I don't know why my internet is bad. So it was selling for 17 yuan. So we know. So we know that a fair price for this thing is 2.43 dollars because it's selling for 17 yuan on on 1688 so we, we definitely can negotiate this price with this guy right here we probably can get him down to four dollars or probably less if you're having a lot of orders and then potentially we're gonna have our logo printed once we start selling a lot of stuff most of these stores have like a minimum quantity for you to start putting your logo on it because like they have a machine and this machine like prints on 500 items at once so you can't just like print on 500 and sell 20 and have all your the rest of your products stuck at the supplier he can't sell them because it has your logo on them so once you reach like you can negotiate that with him they will tell you the minimum order quantity for you to put your logo on the product but that's essentially what i want to show you and uh, i want to show you another tool that i use it's called um alexa sidetrack so we, we looked at Blendjet and we want to see when they started. And uh, so we go on Alexa and then we type in the site name Blendjet, for example, blendjet.com, run analysis. And then Alexa is going to show you like everything about the site from, from like the comparison metrics, the search traffic, people, 35 of its traffic searching the site, um, the engagement everything everything you need to know about the site this is so interesting you can find everything here you can see when they started yeah they're selling mostly here like this is a perfect website for you to analyze stores another website that i want to web is a similar website to similar web.com let's go here um if we search for, for blendjet here as you can see, um, it shows us the global rank. It's ranked 78th on the world, 19,000 in the US. Category, like in beauty and cosmetics, this is not very accurate. And the traffic, this is, they have 481,000 visits. That's insane. Um, their, their main audience is in the US, then Canada, then France, then the United Kingdom. You can see everything. Most of their sales are direct, like these are like through their website and then referrals search social from mail like this is very interesting to look at most of their like you can literally look at everything so they have 60 percent organic traffic and then 43 is through like paid keywords seo and stuff social most of their sale are coming from facebook ads then youtube maybe advertisements instagram influencers like that's very interesting to look at so when you see that most of their sales are coming from Facebook, you know that you should focus on Facebook ads more than influencers 
because influencers are not getting much sales. So you can see everything about the website that you're looking at, that you the website that you want to copy. Like, look at this. It has everything you need to know. I'm so excited to teach you guys about everything. These are like some of the tools I use. And uh, I'll just open, I just want to show you one more thing. Um, this is uh, kind of like a, this is kind of like a famous general store. I don't like general stores, but I just want to show you something. If the store is a Shopify store, I'm going to show you a hack to know what their best selling products are. Um, so it's very easy. You just copy this thing here and then you go on the website and you paste it after their, their, um, thing like their link. So you get their, this is their best selling product. Number one, number two, number three, this works on every Shopify store, like every Shopify store. So this is also useful. So when you look at a site from uh, my IP.ms and you want to figure out what their top selling product is, you just go there and paste this after their website and boom, you get all their best selling products. This is how you can find best selling winning products. So this is part two of the course that I'm going to be offering. I know I'm not the best in explaining. I'm trying my best, but hope you guys enjoyed. And please, if you enjoyed, drop a like on this video. And uh, if you have any questions, I'm more than ready to respond in the comments below.